If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a play that EA hasn't patched. Haven't patched it since the launch of Madden 22. I'm gonna show you guys how to run it against different zone defenses. You can use it against man as well. Make sure you drop a like on today's video, become a member because what I'm about to show you is gonna be part of the full scheme breakdown that I provide for the bronze level and up members. So if you wanna become a member, the link is in the description or if you're on desktop, there's a join button. If you become a silver member, you can drop your own gameplays and then I'll review those and give you guys feedback on your own stuff that you're running. Uh, people that are silver members right now, I am working on it. Um, so make sure you drop those videos on your YouTube channels if you are silver members. But if you want access to all the ebooks, you become either a silver or a bronze member. It doesn't matter, man. Okay. This is going to be one of them. The 335 wide meta is in there. The 245 odd meta is in there. The bunch offsets in there. The full tray wide flex offensive scheme. The single back wing stack. The Y off trio week is about to be in there. Give me within the next week. This one's going to be in there. And then we're going to move to the Y off trips pats from the New England Pages playbook. I'm going to provide the glitchy stuff plus the route concept. So, the wild trio week right here in today's video is going to be out of the Saints. It's going to be based from the Saints offensive playbook because this formation just has a bunch of route concepts that you can use to destroy everything in the game. This formation has actually won people belts in older madness. Just people shied away from it ever since Bunch took over. So wild trio week, all you want to make sure for this play right here is that we have the fastest wide receiver over here on the right side. Now, if we can get the Packers to run these plays right with Scantling being our fastest at 93 speed. Can you imagine 94, 95, 96, 97 speeds like Marquise Brown, Tyree Kill? It's just going to be OP. But we're going to use Scantling. Okay, Scantling's not the fastest, but he's the fastest on the Packers. So Gun Wild Trio Week, the name of the play is the PA wide receiver in. Now against cover two, this is what's crazy. I'm going to run random cover two. As long as it's not like cover two invert, uh, this play is, it's OP. Okay, now all you want to do, you can keep play action or not. But what you want to do is you want to try to roll out towards your left if you can on this play. Right here, it's a little bit harder with Rodgers. And what this does is it confuses the deep half on the outside. Now, I don't know if it's that I'm rolling out or is it just a, just the play glitching out with this offense. So what I'll do now, and I don't like to do it, is I'll sit in the pocket and let's watch that deep half. If we could get him to still move in those directions, I'm going to step up into the pocket. Okay, you see that right there, right? You see how... Me sitting in the pocket, he's able to play that a little bit better. Now watch what happens as I roll out of the pocket if I can't do it again. You know what? This looks like a contain off the edge side, so I may not be able to roll out again. Watch that block. Could be, but it's not. But as I roll out, it confuses the deep half, and it allows me to get over the top. So you guys are seeing just how bad the design in the game is. Okay, let me show you an instant replay so you can understand how I find these glitches. And just, it's crazy, okay? Like, I'm just the glitch master, bro, okay? Now, with the rollout quarterback, and you could pro probably apply this logic to other things in the game as well, and this is why rolling out is more beneficial than not, okay? So, you saw I sat in the pocket, the deep half reacted normal, but as soon as I rolled out, he identifies the quarterback as a running threat, so he sits back down in his zone. Watch, you'll see him. You see how I'm rolling out? He's looking at me, waiting, thinking that I'm going to take off running, but I don't, and that's the hesitation that we need to get us this space over here for the easy completion. I'm gonna show you guys again, okay? Now, obviously, it's harder if they contain, so you wanna save plays like this in the pocket, okay? In the cut, boom, I'm gonna roll out. You're gonna see we're gonna get that glitch. There it goes. He backs down, this is the space we need. Boom, easy. Now, I'm gonna try to get up the field and I can't. Now, watch what happens when I sit in the pocket, okay? When I sit in the pocket, now he's gonna play regular. He's actually back, well, he actually dropped again, but sitting out in the pocket and trying to throw these Madden's not like that. You can't do that in Madden. I mean, you could try it, but if you really want to maximize your efforts and your gains, you have to do what I'm telling you, bro. You have to do what I'm showing you. And Scatling's going to get behind that safety every single time in that cover two. Now, this isn't the only defense this works for. It also works for cover four quarters. So let me show you what I mean. Same play, PA wide receiver in. Uh, let's go ahead and go to cover four quarters. We'll go ahead and go to three, three, five. We'll cover four quarters and you just run the damn play stock. Okay. Just run it stock. Boom. If that guy sheds off the edge, it's fine. And you just pass lead this to the left. And as long as you have your fast wide receiver there, he's going to get behind these guys 
and you're going to get a lot of yard, probably even one play tutties, depending on who you have back there. If you have someone better than Scanling, it's just going to be a lot easier for you. You know what I'm saying? Boom, right here. I'll just secure catch that just to make sure we get a possession catch. Now, another way to glitch out cover four quarters is this way. Say you want to throw a drag. We want to make sure we have two streaks on the field. So we're going to go ahead and motion our tight end across streak, streak A and R, B. We're gonna slant B, or you know what, it's a slant X and drag B. Now with this combination, our B route should be wide open against uh, cover four quarters. You'll see what I mean. Pay attention, homies. I'll show you how to glitch out defenses. Right here, our drag route is gonna be wide open. The reason being is you're gonna see it in the instant replay. I'll show you guys how to glitch underneath cover four quarters. So back in instant replay, you'll see how we're stretching out the defenses. This guy has to identify this guy going up the seam as a threat first. By the time he realizes his mana principle needs to switch to the cover four quarters, you'll see that he's still backpedaling because it's he's still at uh, attached to the streak. My man over here comes across and then we pull away the defender guarding that flat in the quarter with the slant. So you'll see you will have both of these at routes open as long as you have two streaks on the field on opposite ends of the field. So you'll see two opposite ends on the field. So that's what we do. We go ahead and put this guy, this guy. Okay. Drag slant. You could do it opposite. You could slant drag and have X open on the other side. So let me show you what I mean. We can flip this and have it open on this side. Now he's going to be wide open. And by the time these guys recognize what's going on and their matchup principles have to react, it's too late. You already have the leverage to yourself and you also have the slant route. So you can run the same thing. And if you have time to look for the slant, you can. It just depends on the pocket pressure. And what you got going, bro? They let that guy. Now, look, you see that he's running it with him. That's not good. The drag route would have been the move. So remember, if you want it to be more consistent, just hit your drag routes. And if you want Adams to be open more than not, then put him on the drag. And that's how you do that. Now, against cover three, this play, okay, this play, we can still utilize the glitch after the patch because they did patch what I showed you guys. But you can still run it against like random cover three. And what we want to do is smart route X on the out route and streak RB. So it looks like this. Now we're going to be looking for Scantling. You're going to notice this outside third on the left side is going to get glitched out. That's what we want. That's all it takes is that little glitch out right there. And we get the one play touchdowns. You guys know I got the best setups in the game. This is one play dominating a whole bunch of defenses. And with the cover two setup, you can do that against cover two man as well. So if someone's running cover two man with deep halves, you can still do the same thing. So back to the cover three one smart router X streak RB like this. I'm just keeping play action on purpose. I won't do it in a game, but what, look at this. Look at this. Just glitching it out, man. This is this is what we're doing. I'll show you guys instant replay what's happening. We are glitching out that outside third. So what happened is what I'm thinking they did with the patch is uh, they patched it, but they didn't patch it. What they did was. How can I explain this? When we were on the right hash with our trips or our most of our receivers on the right side with the right hash, they patched that. However, now I'm seeing it on the one wide receiver side. So like they move the glitch from the bunch side or the trip side or the, the side that has the most receivers, they moved it and put it to the to the single wide receiver side. So any formation, maybe even bunch, I'm gonna need to test this out. But now we have the smart route out route with X, forcing RB to hold that middle third. And if we have the time, you know what I'm actually impressed with? I am actually impressed. I didn't show you guys an instant replay, but I'll show you right here. I am impressed that this play action is holding the blocks better than I've ever seen any offensive uh, formation do. Typically when I use play action, right? I get insta shedded and I haven't been insta shedded yet. As you guys have been watching every time I snap the ball, I'm not getting pressured at all. It could be the Packers awareness ratings or whatever. I don't know what the O-line, how good it is, but this is what's happening now with this, uh, with these new cover three glitches. People are like, Hey man, find us the new stuff. Well, here it is, man. Okay. Smart route it on the one wide receiver side is going to force this outside third to prioritize him. And when he does that, you already have this guy coming across by himself down the field and it's just butter. Now we obviously overthrew that. Uh, so it wasn't good for us. Now, like I said, I'm going to drop the full scheme for this formation. So I think it was important that I show you today. So if you were on the fence about becoming a member, we haven't even talked about the PA post dig shot or the Saints curl, which is a crazy zone beater. The gun Y off trio week now from the Saints playbook now has inside zone. Never had it before. It was base. Uh, we have the wide receiver in. It still does have base, but you want to run inside zone instead. It's got corner strike, which I'm going to I'm labbing right now to try to find something glitchy out of it. 
We have Saints out. We have Saints cross and Saints in go. These are very, very good plays versus the zone defense. You guys are going to like them. We have sticking up, which is a phenomenal red zone play that you use my setup. And I'm going to show you guys in the, in the scheme breakdown the sticking up and how well it does in the end zone. Then we have Saints deep out, which is another good play stick. It's kind of like I can make that into a flood concept. Then we have stick, which is good against cover four. You have four verticals, you see the screen, the draw. And like I said, you're, you have a bunch of plays in here that can dominate pretty much everything in the game. So become a member if you want access to that coming soon within the next week. Make sure you guys drop a like on today's video. Love you guys.